right, so we arrived here. We got our uh, driver picking us up, taking us to the hotel. We got another flight in the morning. Uh, it's an hour and a half flight. We're gonna stay here in uh, Johannesburg. In a, in a hotel, we're gonna eat some dinner. We're gonna go to bed. Then we just got up an 18 hour flight. And it wasn't a very big plane like I was hoping for. Not much bigger than the normal plane we you normally fly from Dallas to Las Vegas or anything like that. So, anyways, but we made it. We're here, we're safe. We'll be at the hunting grounds tomorrow. Uh, 14. I'm not sure what this is all about, but this is uh, this is in the bathroom and bathtub. You have some uh, mosquito spray. Well, that makes me a little bit nervous. We've made it to the hotel. Africa Sky, is, we've made it here for tonight. It's about eight o'clock here, and we gotta leave at six to get on our next flight. Our next flight is taking us to Windhook. From Windhook, we take a safari vehicle, land cruiser, whatever, and we drive, it's 60 miles. I don't know how far or how long it takes you to get 60 miles in the desert, but and then we are at Ikuja Safaris. And we're actually gonna hunt tomorrow. The first day is, this is what it kind of looked like. We got to Dallas, we got on a plane, we flew, flew, yeah. we flew from Dallas to Dulles, Washington, D.C. From D.C., that was four hour flight. From D.C., we went, got on a plane, and we got to uh, Guana, and that was a 13 hour flight. We never got off the flight. They reloaded 60 more people on it offloaded, I don't know, 100. We actually had a little more room on the second flight, but then we had another five hours to Johannesburg. So total flight time today was 22 hours total in flight, and we are fine. Like I said, we're finally here at African Skies. We're gonna clean up. I can't wait to brush my teeth, and we're fixed to go have an awesome dinner, and uh, wake up in the morning, get back on a plane, head to Windhoek. So we'll see you in the morning. She switched over. She switched the on over. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? Text spread here. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Real quick, yeah. We're gonna go uh, shoot some pigs and uh, anyway. <laughs> We have a 60 mile drive to Ikuja Safaris and we will be there for the next eight days. I am happy. No? You don't video? Huh? I can't hear you.
So we are now in Nibia at Ikuja Safari, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I am pumped. It is, it is very exciting. On the way in, we saw Baboon, we saw um, Impala, we saw Warthog, we saw we saw Oryx, Kudu. Kudu. What else? I mean, just some of it on the side of the road, just right on the side of the road, like it's uh, like it's just nothing. <laughs> As we pulled up here to Kudu, and it is absolutely beautiful. I haven't been around the whole place just yet, but they have six or eight um, cabins, two man cabins, that are decked out, dressed up. Uh, they have a pool. They have a uh, basically a lounge. It's it's got a lounge area. We pulled up here 15 minutes ago and food is ready. We're about to go eat and we're about to hop in a stand. This is day one and it is two o'clock in the afternoon. We're about to get our bows sighted in. Um, there's nine of us here. We're here with Flair, Outlaw, their cameraman, my boy Cage, Mullet Man, Judd, who y'all have seen me hunt with uh, quite a bit. I've hunt a lot with Mullet Man and Judd. They live right there, close to my hometown. Uh, Mullet Man's dad, Mike, he's here. And that's all, I'm not leaving anybody out. We're all here, we're all excited, and we're about to go eat, and we're about to get in the stand and start hunting. There's a black stop, a black stop. You just shoot it on top of the black. Oh, okay. Zebra got the tri triangle, second triangle, you put it in there. Okay. On the oryx, the whole shoulder is gray. So don't shoot too fast. You gotta yeah. talk you into that shoulder. Yeah. 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 Otherwise you pull it, stomach. Disaster. dropped off Outlaw and Jacob. Now we're dropping off Mike and uh, who was Mike with? Jackson. Mike was with Jackson. And there's probably 150 wildebeest here. There was a warthog when we pulled up. 50 red heartbeats. I mean, there are animals everywhere. As we're on our way to our stand, we're uh, a couple miles from it. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get to look and see what all we got at our stand. Hopefully we're gonna get something put down tonight. It's good morning. This is uh, this is our first full day. Yesterday we had a little half day. We went out, drove around, saw a ton of animals. We saw everything. But the only thing we didn't see was giraffes and uh, we saw water buck. We didn't see zebra. giraffes and zebra or baboon, which uh, I'm dying to see a baboon. I had a great experience driving around. It was it was just it's unbelievable. This place is just. It's just awesome. The wildlife is abundant. I mean, animals are everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's there's animals. But uh, today, we are actually going and we're sitting over a water hole. And right now, it is about 6.30 in the morning. We just had breakfast. We're getting prepared. It is 40 degrees right now, and it is cold. And we're riding in the back of a, of a safari uh, vehicle. So. We're, we're packing up, we're loading our clothes, we're getting our gear, and we're about to head to the stand. We're, today, what we're, where we're sitting, they're kind of expecting uh, this area is known for Ewan and Kudu. So hopefully we have Ewan and Kudu come in, and uh, me and my boy Cage, we can take one out. We're also hoping for just about anything, really. But uh, one thing I am doing today is I'm taking the blow dart gun. There's, uh, there's guineas and dove and about, I don't know, 10 different, 10 different species of birds that are uh, all over this water hole. So I'm gonna take the blood art gun, hopefully get some good footage, and hopefully we get an animal down.
this, this and a, like a group of five or six water bugs. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. This is our uh, first day, basically day and three hours in Africa. We sat for three hours and drove around for maybe two hours, saw tons of animals running around, went and sat, really didn't have anything come to the, to the water hole that we wanted to shoot the first day. The second day, as you saw, was much better. My boy here shot a, a Oryx, beautiful Oryx. Um, Hour and 45 minutes later, I had an Oryx come in. I ended up shooting. I shot him, hit him perfect. And he ran about 100 yards and laid over. As I was walking up, I took an extra arrow just in case I didn't hit him where I thought I hit him or where I thought was a kill shot. 
I went ahead and took an extra arrow. As you can see, a warthog comes up and runs right in front of my oryx. They actually, I think, I don't, I'm not sure if it's on video or not. I haven't watched this, but I believe they actually headbutt. And then he bounces off, comes three yards in front of my oryx, and I end up getting told by the guide, go ahead and bust him, which we, we wanted to shoot my oryx, so he didn't run off and we had to do a whole bunch of chasing we could get back to hunting. But whenever that warthog went, ran right in front of my oryx, we, he, he said, do it, go ahead, bust that warthog. Anyway, I busted him. He had some broke tusks. Wasn't the greatest warthog ever, but it was a kill and it was awesome. It was a rush. He was within 15 yards of us when I shot him. And uh, what a great day. We got three animals our first day and tomorrow is gonna be better. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give us that thumbs up and stay tuned. We got six more days.